die. Yeah, but what about the taxes? Look, I'll sort them, all right. Just shut up and don't talk to me until I calm down. Bye. All right, what's the big idea? What does it look like? I'm playing Fall Guys on my iPad. It's called Stumble Guys, you idiot. It's a stupid Fall Guys ripoff. Just what the hell are you talking about? Stumble Guys and Fall Guys are the same game. They even have Mr. Beast in that game, too. Well, tell Mr. Beast to fuzz off, because there's no way in hell I'll ever play that game. I hope you better be cooking something good. Just another average day of a chef pig, huh? Well, you can't have enough of it. All right, listen. You do know that Zack and I were close colleagues. He was a businessman, and I'm the mod boss. We're both criminals, yes, but we had a normal life. However, there is something that we have to do. Really? What's that? We're gonna blow up a building. Where on earth have you been? We almost called the police when we worried ourselves sick about the both of you. Dad, please shut up and listen to what we're going to say. There is something that we'd like to announce. What? You guys are going on prom night. We're getting married, fam. What? Married? Is that why you've been away the whole time? We just didn't want you guys to know about this until now. Chuck, that is out of this world. Congratulations. Thank you, brother. I couldn't be more thankful. So when is the wedding due? I'm not sure. But I can assure you that there will be flowers, orchids, and many other things. I mean, what can possibly go wrong? Uh, who the hell are you? What's it to you, Hal? I am a new furry girl living on the block. <coughs> can I say? You're new and flat me. Howard, it's Zatch. I know it's been a long time since I haven't called you, but could we please meet up this afternoon? There are loads of things to talk about. What do you mean you can't? Are you busy or something? Well, geez man, you're useless to me. If you don't want to talk to me, why bother calling? Fine. Stuff you then. I'd rather not see you there anyway. Guten Tag. Who are me speaking to today? Howard Pierce. Who else? You. That's right, idiot. It's me. The one and only. Wait a minute. I know you. You are the same dude that blew up my boss office and killed Arya. What do you think I am anyway? A terrorist? More than that. VHY do you think you destroyed Sotso's business anyway? To inherit HIES life. You work it with him, so VHY don't you trust him anymore? Because he stabbed us in the back. We asked him to be by our side, but he tricked us into this crap. Where the hell are you? That's none of your business. You're in Eula, aren't you? I saw that on my Find My Kids app. So what the hell do you want? I want you to borrow me the drugs. Dogs? VHY what he needs the dogs for? He don't even do them. Eugene says that you kept them in your safe so no one could know about your addiction. You only got at least next week to get the drugs. If the deadline isn't met by midnight, you're dead. <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at? Do you really think I'm joking? I'm not. Just give me the drugs by next week, or your family will never see you alive again. I mean it. Scheiße. Should be worried? Previously, you only got at least next week to get the drugs. If the deadline isn't met by midnight, you're dead. Dino, 
just sent me something about a, a haunted mansion right here in my regular house. That's the Aldrazi Castle. Since when did people ever call that haunted? That sure does look a bit scary. How can it be scary? It's just a stupid mansion. Either you retrieve the drugs to the bad piggies within the next few hours, or all of you die. I'm placing you under arrest for possessing drugs and spreading them across Nirachaza. We did everything we could to save Terrence's life, but there was nothing left to do anymore. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just can't believe this happened. How could this happen? How could that stupid chef pig kill Terence like that? This is a setup. If we didn't go to that castle, none of this bullcrap would have happened in the first place. Then why did you have to go there anyway? I don't know, okay? I thought it was supposed to be a fun idea. Well, it obviously wasn't. Shut the hell up. Everyone, please. We're supposed to be mourning the guy that was always there for us. You have to respect his wishes. Wow, what? Where am I? How did I get here? Dad, what are you doing? Just installed high-tech security in our home. What? You mean those electronic gates? Yes. We use them to open them and close them. This is also very helpful, because intruders won't find a way to get in. Only my family can have access to these gates. Wait, so you change the old gates to the new ones, then put the old ones back, and vice versa? Because that's how TV logic works. It was only beta testing, Chuck. Ah, I get it now. Hey guys, check out my new house! Wait, what happened to your house? It's changed. We had to refurbish it because the old one was super outdated and boring. I even changed the gates apes as well because people kept seeing through the old gates. Well, it doesn't look too bad. It looks nice. I tend to agree. And check this out. This beautiful of our house has just been built recently. I don't know who's there, but you get the idea? No way. That is the coolest house I have ever seen. I wish we could just move there rather than live in a dump. Yeah, who lives there anyway, Mr. Beast? Well, it could be someone else living in there. Okay, but who can it be exactly? Dusty's answering your question. You? You, you would never find me here. You're wrong! Whoa, whoa! Uncle Terrence, look! It's snowing outside! Isn't it amazing? Why are you not wearing a coat? You're gonna freeze out here. Look at that. Talk about happy families. Oh, hey, mate. How come you're not out in the snow? Oh, I'm just waiting for Chuck. I have been texting him, but there's no word from him. Maybe he must have gone skiing all by himself. I don't know about that. He must be doing something else. Oh, well, let him have one. Blue, what happened? What's with the rush? We're in a big emergency. Guys, Chuck is missing. What are you talking about? Chuck is not missing. He's out skiing. I'm serious. Chuck is gone. I kept ringing him, but he never called. This was the note that was left on the ground. Just read it. What the hell? What's this? Yellow bird has been taken care of. Oh, God, no. They... Well, what do you think? Dude, are you sure that this tree will fit through the door? It's pretty big if you ask me. Look, if it fits, it fits, okay? Now are you gonna help me with this or what? Uh, fine. As long as I don't break my arm. Wow. That looks beautiful. Heck, the whole house looks beautiful with these Christmas decorations. Yeah, Blue is gonna love this. Nice tree! Oh, for God's sake, where did you come from? You teleported out of nowhere. What? I 
was just curious with this Christmas tree. I'm in love with it. That's what Blue would say. Um, guys, I'm sorry to interrupt your happy time, but we have a serious problem on our hands. Do you know who this guy called Gregory McLaren? Obviously not. Why should we? It turns out that when your family moved here, turns whoever the owner of the household, McLaren was. Gregory McLaren is a human trafficker and a dangerous criminal residing here in Nayar Giaza. He is a threat to your family, and now he wants to do something with your house and your family also. What are you talking about? What exactly does McLaren want to do? Sell the house? No, worse! He wants to kill and destroy your whole family. 